here we have a five carbon chain, all singly bonded. Let's say we wanted to replace two of these hydrogens with a bromine. Now it's not important for this question, but we would call this one, two dibromo pentane. Let's say we had a problem. We want to know how many different ways we can replace two hydrogens with a bromine group. To help you out, some other alternatives could be if you replaced the bromine on the first carbon and the third carbon. You could also replace two hydrogens on the same carbon with a bromine. You might want to pause the video at this point. How many different ways can we replace two hydrogens with a bromine? All right, hopefully you've given it a crack and you've come up with a number. Now, if you tried drawing out all the different alternatives, you'll probably find that it is quite time intensive and it also uses up a lot of space on your, uh, your writing paper or, or your whiteboard, which you are allowed uh, to have on the game set. So what else could we do here? One thing we could do is represent the different carbons for example, we could number the carbons, positions one, two, three, four, and five. By doing this, we can represent different combinations numerically, and this saves us a lot of time as well as space on our paper. For the example above, where we've got two bromines on the same carbon, carbon one, we could represent this with the numbers one and one. And for our original scenario, where we had the bromines on the first two carbons, we can represent this as one, two. All the different combinations and arrangements can therefore be filled in systematically like this. <laughs> as you can see, uh, at some point I gave up doing all the commas, but they're not that important. So here we've got all the different possibilities going from one, one to five, five. And if you counted all of these, you should get a total number of 25. However, there's a problem. See if you can spot the issue here. Okay, so there's more than one problem actually. The first one is that the order in which we pick the position doesn't matter. So what do I mean by that? If we were to consider this scenario where we have replaced a hydrogen on the first and the second carbon, that could be represented with the numbers one, two. Can you see that is also represented by two and one? So these are in fact duplicates of each other. We are double counting, okay? One, two, and two, one are identical. And you'll see that there's a lot of duplication occurring um, across the board. So for example, one, three is the same as three, one. One, four is the same as four, one. But one thing that you might notice, which is actually really, really nice, is that if you just drew a line diagonally, all the numbers on either side of the lines are actually duplicates of each other. Okay, so we can actually cross them out. Okay, so two, one, that's the same as one, two, three, one's the same as one, three, three, two's the same as two, three, etc. So we're gonna cross them out. All right, great. So if you count all the ones that are remaining, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we have 15, which is getting closer to our answer of how many different ways we can replace two bromines on this chain of five. All right, what else can you see? Maybe you can pause the video here and look at the remaining options. Are we still double counting? Now, if you notice that there's an axis of symmetry, then well done. That's going to be an issue. And I'll show you what I mean by that. 
So there's actually an axis of symmetry that goes down the middle of this molecule. What that means is if you look at our combination of one and two, so having the bromine on the first and the second carbon, that would actually be identical to having the bromines on the fourth and the fifth carbon, because it would just be a reflection. So now we know that one and two is actually identical to four and five. Hopefully you can see that one and three would be the same as three and five. So if you were to draw another line this way, Okay. you'll notice that on either side of that line, there's repetition as well. Okay, so as we said before, uh, one and two is actually the same as four and five, and one and three is actually the same as three and five. So we can get rid of one of those sides as well. Okay, so we can get rid of these guys, for example everything on that side. So what do we have left? We've got one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, two, 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 three, two, four, and three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine different ways that this can happen. I like to show different ways of essentially getting to the same answer. So let's try um, a variation of this. I'll keep the line of symmetry there because that's going to be important. Um, you'll see shortly. The alternative here is we could represent the different uh, arrangements with another set of numbers. I think that having five positions is a useful detail. Um, so we could do something like this. Let's have a look at our original scenario. Okay, so in this scenario, we have replaced the bromine on the first and the second carbon. Instead of looking at the positions themselves and writing them as one and two, perhaps we can write it like this. So what we're doing here is we're essentially uh, recording down which position has a certain number of those groups replaced. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying that in the first position, we've got one bromine. In the second position, we've got one bromine. And in the third position, we have no bromine. The fourth, we have no bromine. And the fifth position, we have no bromine. Okay, so this number here represents the arrangement above, which again is time-saving. So I can go through um, a whole bunch of different variations. For example, if I put the bromine on the first and the third carbon, I can represent that as one, zero, one, zero, zero. So again, we have one bromine on the first carbon, no bromines on the second carbon, one bromine on the third carbon, and no bromines on the fourth and the fifth positions. So in a similar way, we can start going through the different combinations. Okay, so with the first, with the first four combinations, I've essentially put a bromine on the first carbon and then I've alternated with the, the second choice. So I've put it on the second, third, fourth, or the fifth carbon. We can be systematic and now consider all the different scenarios with the second um, carbon with the bromine. That would be zero, one, one, zero, zero. That could be one example. And then I could do zero, one, zero, one, zero. And then I could do zero, one, zero, zero, one. Now notice that I didn't consider the scenario of one, one. So thinking about the one with the second carbon and the first carbon, because we've already counted that earlier on. You might want to pause the video here and also check, have we double counted anything. Okay, is there any scenario that I have written down which is essentially identical to something I've already written down? And I'll give you a bit of a hint. It's got to do with symmetry. All right, so hopefully 
you guys are able to identify that the last one that I just wrote out, 01001 is actually identical to 10010 because of symmetry. They're actually just reflections of each other. So that's one thing that's kind of useful with this representation because you can see um, essentially the spatial orientation and you can, you can actually uh, anticipate uh, symmetrical alternatives, okay? Things that are essentially the same or reflections of each other. So we're not going to count that. We won't count that. All right, so now we're also gonna do the combinations with the third carbon. So we'll go 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Have we counted these already? Okay, you might wanna pause the video and just double check. Okay. Hopefully you can see that this alternative and this one, okay, or these two arrangements, again, they are mirror images of each other. They're just reflections of each other. So we're not gonna count that. And it just so happens that we've already counted the last one as well. This is actually identical to this. Okay, 10100 is the same as 00101. It's just reflected or in reverse. Okay, it's not actually any different. It's the same molecule, essentially. So we're not gonna count these. And if you went on to look at the combination with the last, uh, with the fourth carbon, I should say, 00011, that's pretty much it. That is the very first scenario that we've already counted. Okay, so that's the same as 11000. So we're not gonna count that. So these are the only combinations that work if you put one bromine on two different carbons. Okay, so what's this? One, two, three, four. Five, six, but we have to also consider situations where the bromines are on this, the same carbon. Okay, so now we can do this. That would represent a situation where there are two bromines on the first carbon. So again, we can be systematic. We can also consider what if we had two bromines on the second carbon or two bromines on the third carbon or two bromines on the fourth carbon, or two bromines on the fifth. Can you guys see an issue again? I'll give you a hint, it's got to do with symmetry. So if you noticed that two of these are actually the same, then you're right. So for example, this scenario, where you have two on the fourth carbon, is actually identical to having just two on the second carbon. So we're not going to count that one. That's just a reflection. And also the last scenario, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, that's the same as 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, the very first double um, arrangement that we considered. So if we count it, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We come to the same conclusion. There will be nine different ways that this can happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.